Dark World, and uh, they had a lot of new cards and new support added to their arsenal. You're going to see the Fusion Monster, the Dragon Lord of Dark World, uh, the uh, absolutely amazing effect here. And it's mostly because of the fact that the way you fuse into it is by discarding using yeah. the Dark World accession. Uh, and of course, you're incorporating the new cards, the new version of Rainbow, uh, and comboing that as well with Ceruli is how you get to that hand loop co combo yeah. that you mentioned, Marcello. But unfortunately, he did lose the die roll, and going second is uh, very hard for this deck, potentially. So, Anchi, on the other end, uh, is playing a very unique version of Kashtira, at least in the ratios. So he's playing three copies of Cross Out Designator, probably thinks the mirror match would have been the most popular deck, but to pair those with, he has, uh, yeah, uh, let's say a lot of one-offs which are very interesting. Uh, why don't we go through some of them, Alberto? Yeah, he has Book of Eclipse, Book of Moon, John and Lockbird, evenly matched. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I love this because the idea here is that they're good cards to draw, you know, yeah. and you combo that with cross out if your opponent uses it against you. Uh, I guess it creates this sort of well rounded of offense and defense. We could say if you draw it, it's fine. If you don't, if you don't draw, draw it, it's, it's also, also fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely amazing. I, I've never like <laughs> some of these cards. It's uh, it's been a while. I think. I mean, Droll and Lockbird has been kind of in and out of the format, but you know yeah. that that's pretty good in the mirror match. Uh, what do you think about Tier Limit Cash Tira? It's uh, I, I don't mind it. I mean, I think in uh, in general you can stick to just the Scareclaw or. Especially, it depends whether you want to go all out, I think. Because we mentioned Kashtira either go for like a five zone block or it can go for a more of a just an arise arcana deck. And that is because of the fact that you can play the trap card and you can play the ogre. So if you don't play the ogre, I think you have more space for the tier element. But here we see both. And here is exactly what we're going to see. Uh, potentially, Anchi can uh, try and go. Is this go the five lock combo he's he going could, for? Right? He, yeah. could, uh, he could go for it, yeah. Yeah, so that is uh, one of the best and most powerful plays that Cash Tira has available to itself is being able to five zone lock like that. But you do put so many resources into it that if your opponent uh, has an answer, either like a tribute uh, or if you go for monster locks, you know, Book of Eclipse, I think generally if you're going to do that, you probably go for the yeah, uh, spell and yeah. trap zone. But I think this is not the case because uh, in the main deck, Alberto is not playing. Uh an interruption. So yeah, we saw some dark world players maining lava golem just because it has some application. Worst case, you can use trade in uh, uh, to discard it. But this is not the case for Alberto. It's really a, f a deck that's focused on comboing off, uh, and uh, even to the extent that he's maining Cyberstein, which we haven't seen in a while. So, so you think the idea with Cyberstein? I don't think it's searchable, right? You just simply draw into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because exactly. there's so much, so much draw power in this deck. If you see it, then you just drop it on the field and summon exterior, which is uh, really hard to deal with. Yeah, and I mean, at some point you can get to the School Dread Saruya, so even if you have I normal summon... I think he's doing it. Yeah? I, th yeah, I yeah. think he's going for it. <laughs> he's definitely trying to go for it. Yeah, yeah no, he is doing it. All right, okay. Uh, Anchi trying to go for that five lock. And uh, I haven't seen this personally yet on stream yet, so let's see, uh, let's see if you can pull it Do off. Do you agree with uh, going for the Spell and Trap zones? Hey, oh, well, I mean, so the, the idea here is that the Spell and Traps are uh, sort of the more powerful cards. You know, Prosperity yeah. evenly matched, and if you simply can't use any of those, all you're dealing with is monsters. So sometimes just the Rice Heart on a monster is enough to, I agree. to, to deal with that. I definitely agree with you. Maybe also at this point of the tournament, he might have seen uh, Alberto, what is playing, no? Sitting mm. at the high Could table. Could be. Yeah. Could very well be. And uh, yeah. you get this deep in the tournament, you know, when you're uh, finishing around, maybe have a look around your table. And you probably notice, you know, oh, this is the only Dark World player yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, you would definitely notice something like this. Uh, especially if maybe you went for like an Aturi exterior and then you would hear, you know, some mumbling about it. So. I think we mentioned this just before, but the uh, Fossil Warrior Skull Knight was banished off of the Prosperity, and this card uh, you can reattach onto the Rise Heart, and what it does is you can banish it from the graveyard to destroy yep. a monster uh, your opponent controls. So uh, quite a popular card that some people have been utilizing. Yeah, uh, I can tell you, you I, I saw a lot of uh, players uh, looking for this card yesterday, but not many of them were successful, so it was one of the most looked for card yesterday by far. And can't blame it. It's it's definitely interesting to to use instead of the Garura for many. 
All right, there's that Cash Thera tier limit uh, coming down here, banishing Big Bang. And Big Bang is... Uh, is that how you get the special summon of the material? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. And here we see, once again, one of the future YCS prize cars in our uh, playmat for the event in Diablos. And I, I do like that sometimes these prize cars are back as, uh, you know, being played actually competitively. Yeah, well, listen, uh, it's a good thing it was uh, reprinted, shall yeah, we say, for because sure. uh, for playing sure. this deck would be quite hard. Uh, so there it is, the double Shangri-Ra, meaning that because yeah. of its non-once per turn effect, comboing that with Diablosis is going to be four more zones. And yeah. this is brutal, yeah. Yeah, this is something that, uh, I mean, if you have the chance to do it, I think you just, uh, you know, go for that. And uh, if your opponent has any sort of interruption, just deal with this. But uh, what I will tell you is, Anchi, uh, I personally know that this is the type of uh, strategy that he would go with, you know, going <laughs> all in. Uh, fun little anecdote, he actually knocked me out of the European Championship <laughs> playing Drytron Turnskip with Ammer Factor Pain. So, in a way, I guess it's kind of <laughs> yeah. similar, you know, maybe he just likes playing those type of strategies. All right, so uh, now he gets to look through the extra deck. And I think maybe he was debating on whether or not he lets that resolve, just cover up the deck. But as we've maybe mentioned yeah, earlier, he exactly. probably knows what he's playing at this stage. Exactly, yeah. He knows that from this point on, it's very tough to come back. Uh, to be fair, there is a very slim chance of something going in with like the dangers, depending on how this goes. But it's very difficult for this to, to go any other way around, especially because now you start to banish a lot of cards from the deck as well, from Alberto. Because uh, the Diabolosis keeps, you know, stacking the, the amount of, of cards you banish. And, yeah. All right, there is the chain resolving here for the first effect of Diabolosis, removing a card from the extra yep. deck, and then on the new chain, banishing cards from the top of the deck, equal to the number of cards that are banished face down. Yep. And that is going to trigger both Shangri-Ras. He also has the Goliath underneath the Rise Heart now. And now, as you can see, One, this is two, it. Three, this four, is it. and five. <laughs> yeah. All Spell and Trap Zones have been locked up. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we, we saw this uh, in uh, YCS uh, Las Vegas uh, the last time. Uh, uh, in the finals, actually. So, locking pretty much almost all of the zones, not just the uh, five Spell and Trap Zones. But today, Less so, more of a grind uh, version of Kashtira, and let's see if there is any hope uh, for Alberto. Well, if there's one way to try and deal with this, it is probably going to involve a lot of danger plays. I yeah, think it's their best chance here. Exactly. Mm, the problem is obviously also the effect of a rice art. It's not... I guess yeah. that, that alone, you know, <laughs> Dark World, ever since it was released, has been uh, dealing uh, with a huge issue. Uh, like dealing. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, step one, Kaiju. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, two zones unlocked. So if we have any good power spells and traps. Definitely the best way to, to start things off. Yeah. So oh. notice that he didn't Kaiju the Rise Heart. So he obviously values yeah. the zones more than the Macrocosmos effect. Don't you just love how Rise Heart just slowly turns into a binder? <laughs> <laughs> he has a stack of material down there. <laughs> yeah. But it's not easy to deal with the Rise Heart, though. I mean, even uh, if the Kajun was summoned... Yeah, uh, honestly, the Bigfoot might be one of the ways, because uh, if you discard it, it still uh, pops one. So Yeah, so dangers still resolve when uh, discarded, even if they are banished. Okay. So he's just gonna do oh, the same. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I do. I do like this. Could you it's explain what he's doing here? Essentially, now after the chain resolves, he's uh, using a riser on his own cards. So he's gonna lock again. Uh, two uh, more, more zones. Yeah, two more oh, zones. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So, because he's yeah. gonna trigger exactly yeah. both uh, again the Shangri La and then the uh, the Ablosis. So. Yeah, no, I, I see. That's uh, that's pretty genius. I think uh, he's reading that his yep. opponent um, needed spells and traps more, otherwise they would have kaijued the Rise Heart. Exactly. All right. Well, he's making an effort here. You know, you'd think like once five of your zones are gone, you would uh, hit the go next. But it seems like uh, 
Alberto is trying to fight through this. There you go. So now we are going to count how many cars have been banished up until now. What do you think about playing something like Dart World in a meta that has cash tier up? Uh, I mean, I don't think it depends uh, solely on uh, on cash tier. Uh, okay. I have never been uh, too much of a fan of uh, discarding strategies. Similarly to like Light Swarm in the sense that sometimes you can get unlucky. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I think uh, if you play more cards like Kaiju, Lava Golem, something that allows you to have some hope going second, sure, otherwise it turns into a die roll uh, kind of game. So. Yeah. Uh, All right, digging deeper through the deck with the Allure of Darkness this year, trying to find an answer to either the last Shangri-Ra or I'd say probably at this point definitely the Rise Heart. All right, we're going to activate some dangers here. And, well, this is always sometimes a uh, really... Yeah. Sort of frustrating time with that yeah. dangers, you know, you really need your opponent to hit the right ones. Yeah, unfortunately, basically what's going on, uh, if you were confused by the fourth zone going in back and forth, is that uh, Anchi thought that he could use the Shangri-Ra, but actually Shangri-Ra only activates if the card banished face down was owned and controlled by the opponent. Ah. So basically Anchi kind of... Wasted the Rise Heart, yeah, basically. Yeah, wasted the Rise Heart mm. and his own monster, but I mean... He's that far ahead that maybe that's fine. But definitely risking it now. All right, that's a Zeus eliminated out of the extra deck here. I think uh, he is actually on... No, he's actually only on one. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. So now it's where he can finally use uh, his Shangri-La, his cars, potentially. Let's see. Gonna think about what's going on. Yeah. So, uh, Diablosis, ripping cards out of the extra deck. What do you think that does for deck building? It's very tough, actually. And uh, that's where uh, these one-offs with the cross-out maybe are also a liability for Anchi in potentially a mirror match. But, um, I, I mean, honestly, I think uh, a lot of duelists have been dealing with tier elements for the past month, where it was similar, like they would consistently mill you 10 cards off the top of the deck. And that's also a way of dealing with deck building and uh, obviously getting them banished it's even worse but it's not that con as consistent as tier elements mm -hmm. so sometimes they just go at ice art you know so. five and zones blocked again yep you know when rise heart attaches rise heart do you think it makes a super rise heart <laughs> could be the case <laughs> could be the case uh, another danger being rolled here and uh, I think it was a Mothman he revealed, correct? Yeah, another one. Yeah. <laughs> How many sixes are we going to get here for? Yeah. There it is, all right. Snow. Unfortunately banished. And yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Because now with the Ariser gone, is he playing like Zeus? He has Exiden Knight. Uh, he banished the Zeus. I only playing one. Yeah. Yeah, he plays one. One Zeus, one Exiton. Exiton hit previous yeah. turn. Yeah. So the answers are getting uh, quite thin now. Dugares draw two, discard maybe. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna scoop yeah. it up. That's it's too much to handle those five zones, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So he much. tried. Uh, he tried after. Yeah. This is the second oh. largest uh, right. tournament. So yeah. maybe we can get. Imagine. Uh, imagine after that many years again, a win by the Arcward. Yeah. The irony, it wasn't even a Dark World meta really back then. No, right? yeah. at all. Like, <laughs> like today, you know. <laughs> yeah. so. All right, Bigfoot is being revealed here. Let's yeah. see if we can hit some good Dark Worlds out of the hand. Oh, oh that is the wow. worst oh. situation. Oh, what a no. punish. Yeah. I know exactly what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, okay, Chupacabra comes next. Trying again. This time it wouldn't be as bad, but still, you really want to draw some cards. At least the good news is there is uh, no mm. shifter. So yeah. yeah, yeah. And on resolution here, Silva gets the special summon itself yep. as it was discarded. Is there gonna be a draw and lock? Yeah, resolution. Uh, nope. All nope. right. It might be safe for Alberto to okay. do what he has to do here. All right. And this is one of the. Nice. Yeah. This is the new uh, support card for Dark World. A uh, discard. Simply add a copy of Gates of Dark World from deck. Oh, Ooh, plus. okay, it's huge. Okay. okay, pretty big. And another danger. Okay, yeah. Jackalope. Let's see. All right, 50 50 here. Uh, okay, a rainbow. A rainbow. Okay, this is nice actually. Not that bad. Uh, gonna trigger then uh, bounce back potentially the Silva to be special summoned. Yep, gonna explain it again. A rainbow, one of the. 
uh, new cars, if we can call them that, from the structure. So, really strong. Uh, you can get it back. It's similar to Grafa in the graveyard, as you can special summon it. But then, again, if it's discarded, you can add one Dark World. Now, what I'm worried about here is Alberto, because of that hit on the uh, Bigfoot, potentially maybe running out of gas? Maybe, but at the same time, he still has, whenever he feels like, the potential option of going for a school Dread uh, for four materials, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah, uh, being able to uh, utilize that draw four and returning a card. Ooh, oh, and this is nice. World anyway, this banishing the Genta, and Genta, yeah. when banished, has an effect. Yeah. So. Uh, it combos really well with itself because you can discard it, add Gates of Dart World, then banish it for the effect of Gates of Dart World. Discarding the Grafa and drawing a card with the Gates. No, no, this is totally fine, honestly. This is still really, really good. Uh, yep. Just explaining some of this effect to obviously Anchi, but he has a lot of options. Uh, rank 4s in this deck are uh, very Digaris. versatile. Yeah. Digaris is a good option. I love yep. that card. Uh, Sir Yuja, as you already mentioned. So Yuja is not typically in the meta, right? What was the last like good deck Sir Yuja used? It was a, another danger deck. They did yeah, pretty much. Field. Yeah, with the Thunder Dragons or Dragon Link, you know those kind of decks where you turbo through. Mm -hmm. But he draws into. It's this. Okay, uh, yeah. Is this another Genta that's resolved? Oh, I here? just bounced it back. Yeah, he uh, bounced it back and then yeah. used the effect. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. And this is nice because non pretty much no cars are once per turn, so you can do some uh, very sick uh, loops. Despite the fact that it's new, usually new support has the clause once per turn, but we yeah. had to keep the theme of Dark World, not once per turn, very important uh, for the lore. deck. Yeah. Lore, yeah, story lore. mode. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and well... Here we see... Normal summon? Another Gantt. Yeah. And we might see yeah, the XYZ summon to just uh, draw two, discard one, and skip the next draw phase. Yeah, that's gonna be the play most likely. Uh, number 60, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was uh, learning this deck the other week and I was playing against my friend. And, uh, you know, activating all these dangers and resolving all these extra deck monsters. And then before I knew it, there's a Muckraker, a Fusion, <laughs> a guy in the field and like eight cards in hand. Like, how yeah. did this happen? It right, can here. be very complicated at times, yeah. Yeah, it's not a simple deck. And here is this Haruja. Yeah. It's four. Nice. All right. Now, will we be drawing a power spell? We have card destruction, which or, is extremely good in this deck. Or the Cyberstein. Or the Cyberstein, yeah. yeah the which Cyberstein. we can just special summon yeah. with the effect of Saryuja. Multiple effects on Saryuja. One effect per material used for its summon. Synergies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's almost as if it was designed for this deck. It works so well. And again, one of the prize cards, the OG, the original prize card from back in 2004. So, I thought you meant Sar Saruja for a second. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't really, I mean, 2004 Saruja. Uh, it was yeah. Already, used, yeah, it used to be a ritual monster before it turned <laughs> exactly. into a different shade of blue. Okay, so bouncing the Silva to the hand here, recurring those resources to use the effect of Rainbow, as you mentioned, the very similar again, to yep. Graffa. Yeah, so adding two cards back to the hand, essentially. Yep. And. Cards in hand are important because either you want to be able to resolve as many dangers as possible or a potential card destruction. Here's the third Gates of Dart World being uh, searched for from, from the deck this turn. Yeah. Really trying to do the best of what he can with this end. And yeah, gonna go and activate again the Fuse Spell. So. It's also nice to see the approach, how it changed there, uh, because back then Dark World was played with a lot of traps, no? Yeah. So it was more a lot of a virus. Control Honestly, deck. virus yeah. were. Probably popularized by Dark Bird decks. Yeah. Did you ever play Malefics and like the trade-ins and uh, sending the Stardust? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are uh, those are some old versions of Dark World. It's been through a couple of iterations here. Here's the uh, Accession. It's uh, one of their newer cards here. It allows you to fusion summon uh, by actually discarding instead of uh, the sort of conventional. Yeah. Uh, just sending the materials to the graveyard, which is very much on theme with how Dark World functions, and also is a quick play. So what you can also do is fusion someone on your opponent's turn, trigger the Dark Worlds in your hand, disruption like Dark World allow you to fuse and pop in the process. Yeah. Does also allow you to uh, banish as well. And there he is. There Gra is the Grafa, yeah? Grafa's fusion form 
is here on the field. Threatening for sure. And he gets another Grafa from the deck. Suddenly, a Ash Blossom just does not feel like enough, does it? <laughs> no, for a brief moment, just because of that Bigfoot uh, snipe, uh, it looked like... Let's see if there is a Cyber Stein. I want to see the Cyber Here's Stein. Here's a special summon. There yes! is! There it is! <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as mentioned, the Saryuja does allow you to special summon it from your hand, and Cyber Stein simply paying 5,000 life points. Uh, a little bit too much for Speed Duel, but there enough in this game here to bring out Exterior, also boosted by the effect of the mandatory Saryuja, uh, bringing it up to 3,100. Iped, honestly. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, as long as you have one card in Graveyard, uh, you're able to just infinitely use Exterior. Because you mill and banish a card from the grave to yeah. get a spell and trap. Well, I guess. Pretty totally. much giving back the five block uh, for a spell and trap to <laughs> his opponent, you know? Another danger wow. coming down here. Yeah. Still has uh, some steam here. All right. It's the Grafa, nice. Okay. And another Mothman, all right, okay. Uh, so typically, what you want to do generally is uh, you want to get all of these extra deck monsters out onto the field as soon as you uh, as soon as possible, like your Saryuja, your Exterior, uh, potentially things like Mascarena, and then you can go for Muckraker, uh, and that card is uh, actually somehow a really good extender in Dark World. It's almost as if it was designed yeah. for it. It works again, so well with fiends. Again, the same loop with uh, Grafa and Rainbow getting two cards back. This is really a convincing yeah. show from Alberto. 20 minutes on the clock, and we're still on turn one of game two here. So sometimes maybe you have to consider uh, time here if you're Anchi, but probably not quite at that point yet where, you know, I think like, oh, I'm going to yeah. lose this one. Let's go to game three, go first, try and do the zone lock again. But still has a, a chance here, like we said, a uh, couple of his Side deck options do have a lot of ways to contend with a uh, big field like this. Mm -hmm. Now a lure of darkness to even a turbo through more. It is literally possible to just see your whole deck in one turn. That's why, uh, yeah. you know, things it like that. It wouldn't be that so smart, <laughs> but it's possible. Yeah. yeah. Definitely works. All right. Looks like we're going for a link summon here. Is it going to be Mask or Muckraker? It is, yeah. the, it is Muckraker. Uh, shall we say a, uh, a reference to the uh, tour guide from the Underworld? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so uh, Muckraker uh, allows you to target a fiend in your graveyard, except itself. You can discard a card and then special uh, that monster, and you can't special the rest of the turn except fiends. Um, so I'm not really sure what you would do after the Muckraker. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, it, it also works as a protection, potentially. So mm -hmm. it protects all of your cards by just tributing it. So that's why we have been seeing it a little bit in Sprite as well. There's a way to use it twice, I think, right? Potentially, but, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's mainly another layer of protection. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's see here if he's going to still continue. Well, bringing back any uh, Dart World from the graveyard means you can, again, go for that yeah. loop, as you mentioned. Discarding the snow wow, as well. Wow. wow. Stop. It's already there. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh, no. All right, well, we're only playing one copy of Accession, so we're going to go for the continuous spell card now. This is Dark World Archives, which I yep. think uh, when you discard, you can draw two and discard again, I think. Let's have a look no, here. Basically, yeah, pretty much. Uh, is uh, When you discard once, then it activates. But you can potentially use it first to trigger itself, then in a new chain. Mm. Uh, all right. Okay, so again, remember, uh, Fiend locked at this point, so I'm not too sure what kind of options are left here, but this is a big setup here, having removed the, uh, well, essentially forced your opponent out on the Ash Blossom. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Dragon Lord of Dark World and Exterior are extremely powerful cards uh, to, uh, to rely on. He's playing other XYZs outside of Exidon or no, no, he's playing Apollosa. Apollosa, yeah, yeah. Maybe Masquerade, Apollosa, yeah. you could go some, something along those lines. Well he is field block, uh, fiend block, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now Kashtira going second into a field like this, it's it's winnable. 
I think. Yeah, right? I mean, it's doable. I mean, of course, you have to deal with a lot of stuff. Uh, it really depends also on uh, what your opponent is ending on, because uh, now we are seeing basically Alberto yeah, continuing. But I don't uh, think, yeah. Nightmare Cerberus here, just to use the effect of the uh, archives. Discard Silva. All right. Drawing two yeah, off the top of the deck drawing, here. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Because are you sure you actually used the effect yet of the Mac Wrecker? That's my doubt. I don't know if he just summoned it and still hasn't activated the, the Reborn effect. No, I'm fairly certain he uh, okay. used Mac Wrecker. Which is why I'm like wondering now, okay, where yeah. do we go from here? Okay. Okay. Any, uh... Wait, just play Nightmare Griffin? That's a fiend, isn't it? Yeah. Could maybe potentially try and lock with the yeah. Nightmare Griffin? Interesting, uh, yeah. Okay. Obviously, you have to be careful. You should put it in the middle because then otherwise you can get your own cards. But yeah. Looks like that might be the end board. Yeah. Probably a Griffin in the middle. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You okay there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, it, it looks like to be that that is going to be his last play, is going to go for the Nightmare yeah. Griffin, but he's just trying to debate on where oh, exactly okay. he's going to go. Okay, Never no, mind. it's ending on this. All right. Never mind. Okay. Um, I mean. It's not that impressive after all of that, I feel. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, the exterior is really yeah. nice, but I agree yeah. with you that maybe more could have been done, but... Uh, let's see. Plays back to his opponent, and uh, he goes for better. Okay. Well. What? All right. I think he forgot. Okay. No. Let's check exterior stacks. Yeah. Because you just banish one card from the graveyard to negate, yeah, and right? Then, and banish one and mill one. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I was just checking whether it negates the. Yeah. Because otherwise. Uh, well, yeah. If it negates the effect, right? Yeah. Oh well, exactly. he was one card away from drawing skill drain. <laughs> I suppose that would have been really, really good. Yeah. The nail in the coffin. But why would you use the birth? Um, is there Does an advantage to putting a cash tier in the grave in this situation? Maybe as the scarecrow, but I can't quite uh, Does banish tell the end. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's not like he really needs to. Let's see. Ooh. Probably fairy unicorn. Yeah, that's a unicorn. Okay, let's see. He does have the Grafa, huh? potentially, as another layer of uh, yeah. disruption, but... Kurikara! Ooh, interesting. Okay. That's why he used that it. That makes sense. Now it makes yep. more sense. So, gonna get rid of the exterior because of the Kurikara, who gets to 3,000 attack. Oh, is it 3,000? Yeah. Against, okay. uh, yeah. It's 1,000 for... 1,500 for 15. each uh, tributed, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, don't forget as well, the uh, Fusion Dark World here, the Grafa, is uh, still yeah. boosted by Sir Yujo. And here we see... Okay, never mind. He was about to consider going for a Fusion there, yeah, into yeah. a second copy. And it looks like Battle Phase. Yeah, because I think we were already in the Battle Phase, and that can only be used in the main phase. So... Ah, yeah. He probably allowed his opponent to enter the Battle Phase. Yeah, slight then. oversight there. Yeah. And we must keep in mind he's only at 3,000 because of Cyberstein, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't think there was really a way to go for a game there. You really needed your battle phase to try no, and force sure. things out. Okay, now we are seeing the Grafa on the effect of Unicorn, it seems like. Yeah, so Grafa allows you to discard to negate. Does it destroy? No, essentially no, it yeah. turns uh, into discard a card from your opponent. Oh, okay. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Yeah. It's so, the it, so it comes with the Silva? Yep. So he just hand looped him for two. He will. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> now. So the thing with Dart Worlds, they all have great effects exactly. when you discard them. But if your opponent discards, they from become your... insane. <laughs> yeah. They become insane. And that's the whole point of the combo, which we actually didn't see, which would have been using the Ceruli, mm -hmm. which uh, kind of uh, abuses this uh, aspect of Dark Worlds, and then you get to cycle through. Uh, Basically, looping for four guaranteed at least. So yeah, that is uh, one way to approach that going first. But uh, potentially, that Ash Blossom was enough to stop the Dark World combo from getting really out of hand. But it looks like uh, we've 
done just enough here with our Kurikara and the battle phase of the Unicorn to uh, try and play in main phase two. No uh, probably he's only playing. Uh, I don't know why he wouldn't use then the accession because now he can't obviously. But mm, why, why can't he use it now? No, I, no, no, no. Now he could have used it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like after he's playing two copies of the fusion, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. He does. So like. W because at the beginning of the main phase, your opponent has the priority to use the Unicorn, right? But when they get to the Theosis, you could have flipped the Accession, make a second Graffa, and then negate the Accession, I think. Mm. Uh, because it's not once, uh, an hard once per turn, right? Oh, no, it is. It is. It's it is. a hard once per turn? Yeah, okay, no, never mind. So he couldn't actually go for it. So then, yeah, the opening was uh, not the greatest, but, I mean, Kurikara definitely the MVP at the moment. So what can you really do with Kashtira to break a field like this after you've uh, used your battle phase? Because typically, you know, going second, the power play is like something like Zeus. Mm -hmm. You don't have too but much. What if you just go for Diabolosis and you mill their entire yeah. deck? Because that yeah. is <laughs> that yeah, that's that's an option. option. <laughs> yeah, option. Yeah, right? Okay. All right. Like, um, I don't know how many cards are left, but it, it shouldn't be many. many right? It's not that yeah. many. Yeah, look, that's what he's doing. He's counting yeah. the number like of cards. Around 15, them. right? Okay, actually, yeah. more than expected but still possibly doable all right well if there's anyone who can find a way to go into a alternate win condition <laughs> okay. it's definitely Anchi. <laughs> the king of alternate win condition yeah okay shangri-la's effect was activated this turn that means that we can use uh rice heart almost like a zodiac yep but you need to get to the materials so yeah yeah he does need to get three to be able to try and start Picking apart this field here. Another okay, power. Dark Karn probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I asked the question earlier, uh, what tools do you have at your disposal to try and crack fields? And Dark Arm Dragon of Annihilation, a not once per turn effect to detach and destroy a card. Uh, yeah, that, that gets punished, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, now he's gonna force out. So he knew this was accession. Why do you think he's targeting it anyway? Just to force out the uh, and uh, then try and yeah, hit the dark, uh, the Grafa again. Essentially, yes. You also force out, uh, you know, some cards that should all get banished exactly, and then you get more attachment from the Arise Art. Mm -hmm. And now the really nice synergy is that you can see that you get to banish one from the grave, which is the Theosis that gets you back uh, a card for. Like in this case, the Big Bang. So, still counting, but only the face down really matters. So, talked a little bit about time earlier, and we're mm. maybe approaching that stage of the duel where uh, mm -hmm. you hit single digits. Yeah. Some strategy needs to come into play here. Yeah, especially because like Alberto comboed off for at least 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, 50 minute exterior. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and now again he goes for the Dark Armed. All right. Well, trying his hardest to uh, see if we can get. Ideally, you're trying to like end on maybe like six materials so that you can use it once on your turn, then again on your opponents. Yeah. If you can't go for like an alternate deck out. He's actually using the Nessie, okay? okay. Because now, now the deck out is not an option anymore. Mm. He decided to just try and clear as much of this uh, field as possible. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, take a look at uh, whatever he gets. The Mothman. This could actually end up in a draw. That's also yeah, possible. Yeah, the... that's uh, what I'm worried about. Um, well, don't forget. There is a yeah, massive yeah. life <laughs> point deficit yeah. right now. I know, but <laughs> so if Anchi can simply survive, he'll be ahead on life points. Yeah. But those monsters are big. Yeah, these are these are pretty and big. Also, the only thing I'm worried about, but I am not gonna pretend I remember, is <laughs> whichever of those have been summoned under Saruja to just get the boost. You know. I think at this point it's just the yeah, just fusion. Just probably the fusion. just the yeah. fusion. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it is at 31, and if we don't get rid of it now, when it goes back to Alberto's turn, it should be online again, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As well, I mean, it is online now, I think, right? As he's revealing this Mothman. 
Honestly, this seems doable. Yeah. On whose part? <laughs> no, no, from Alberto. Yeah. I mean, the, the only worry is, as I mentioned, uh, eight minutes. What kind of extra like, uh, monster could be useful here? Is he playing? Because the Cerberus is gone, right? Cerberus is gone. So does he play Unicorn or I don't know? Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't play Unicorn. So no. Anything useful at all? I don't know. Uh, he's got Akashic Magician that can bounce something. Um, okay. I don't think you want to go for Giant Trainer. That thing locks you out of your battle phase. Um, yeah, I mean, Dugaris gives you double attack, but that was already used. So. Okay, so we see the Arise Art. Yeah. <laughs> I suddenly saw the exterior on the field. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. He, he resolved the Arise Art on the Fusion, apparently. And uh, now he's gonna get back uh, the Rainbow. You know, situations like this, these are like very, very complicated game states. No, so I think this was still the, the turn. That's why yeah. we are a little confused. He's using the Kurikari effect, but he couldn't special summon the exterior because Cyberstein does not fusion summon, it just special summons, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So he, he has to get back the rainbow from Kurikari. And now, finally, we are on Alberto's turn, who just immediately enters the battle phase. Yeah, nice. I think it makes sense, so at least he gets immediately rid of uh, yeah. the Rise Art. But he has to play super fast with just uh, a ba Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh! Yeah. Oh! my! Uh, <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Scoops it up, okay. recognizing that. Oh, oversight on the.